the 15 year old banana. I murdered a rock. Angela Stone hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean I make medicine sick. What's up everybody? I'm your host, The Real Spark, and I'm here to react to another video. So I got requested by GoSoul4 to react to a video called The 15 Year Old Banana. Let's go! The 15 Year Old Banana. Here's banana. Me. And my mum's just given me a banana. A banana. Trouble was, the banana was slippery and sticky and the peel came off in soggy lumps that I scooped together and pushed into my mouth. And <laughs> Just like I thought. This is a rotten banana. <laughs> anyway, my mum says, what? eat it. And I say, I don't want to. She says, eat it. And I say, keel over and die. You can't. And that's when I get into really big trouble. Okay. Dad's hand <laughs> darted across the table. I'll finish it, he said. Oh, yeah, you bet he said that. I'll finish it, he says. And mum tries to be exciting. Look out. Ah! That was oh, the blade shit. of a knife. But my dad, my dad, what does he do? He stuffs a great big chunk of banana this? into his mouth and then that really does it. A banana. His eyes pop out. Like yours. Tea oh, time. Yours actually did pop out. It's What's tea time. And we're sitting at the windmill. And my dad wants a chunk of plasticine in his butt. Mm. Oh, uh, what the uh, fuck uh, is uh, this? Could you get me the milk? Nice. What the fuck? I'll tell you what I do. When I open the snatch, I shove a rolled up comic really hard and fast inside the fucking no. snatch. And then she starts what about the moaning. Can I come? I want to come. I sit down again. Then he wants butter for his great big ass hole. Oh, um, oh could you get God. me the butter, he says. I get the thick cooking oil and fling it at him. Ah, that was really hot. And he just I fell I don't over know and how to, I don't know what to do. Suddenly, the <laughs> rocket came in. The face of the kid. Make it double. Two protect the world from Haribo's I don't know who this two. guy is, but I like all him. people in the back. Two deep up and sleepy full of truth and love to extend our plums to the start of the world. Okay, what is Eileen. this supposed to be now? Haribo. Tick rocket blast oh. at the speed of light. So now, or okay. there'll be no afters, and I've made something rather nice. I think you know what I mean. No, we don't know. Hmm. We don't know. What Michael you mean. Rosen, quite right. And I said, I don't care. Tick rocket. Now, if you I don't, two know don't what stop I'm it, right I'm going to put you in a box with a lid and locks. Do you understand? So they go, okay. Don't worry about it. And everything was lovely. Your eyes are going to pop out of your Wonderful. head for real, dude. And then I had sex with a tomato. Presents. You had sex with a tomato? I gave my mum and dad greens, all beans, kinds potatoes, of and Christmas tomatoes? presents. I used to go round the shops for hours a banana. looking at chocolate gingers. Uh, Once I thought I'd made a break. like diarrhea. I was at Sass the Ironmongers and there they were. Two jug things. They were both breathing. Looking very, like titties. Magic. So I bought these wonderful things and I gave them to my mum and dad for Christmas. They said that we had never seen anything quite I've never so horrible. Seen anything they quite were this absolutely retarded. furious. And, crazy. and for a week or so after Christmas, they used to strip me up from the wall bars. <laughs> so I wore them from the wall bars. Such <laughs> was the last one was no no. Oh, what the? What the? I'm probably still there. So spooky. Who took you know, the time say to, to me, if edit that's this. tale, so how come know. your tale to tale the tale? Tell, Fair to enough, tell, and I'll tell, tell you. Tell. It's because so Fiddle Diddle came in. He so had a jug full of diddle. oil and a bag of sandwiches. I like that. I was starving. All I had for breakfast was one apple and 15 razors. So Fiddle Diddle is now fiddle diddle diddle banana. Drops of oil at me. I had to slide out from the wall bars. What? Got it. Well, okay. Wonderful. Okay, get and to the point, man. Tubes. I don't well, know actually, what you're talking we about. We ate here. the sandwiches. Ah, oh, in the mouth. It was fantastic. Okay. Once Whoa. a boy called Richard came to school crying. We said, what's the matter? What's the matter? And he said his granddad can hypnotize people. And then he started crying again. He was a slimy little man, Richard's granddad. He's a slimy he little man. He had a shed with uh, Skyfugel in it. 
Mind you, my gran was a terrifying creature too. She gave me and my brother a chunk of poop in the mouth. Eat. Chunk of poop it in was the mouth. God dang it! What am I watching here? said, air? "My hamster can hurt your calories." <laughs> <people as well." laughs> I said, "Yeah, yeah, I bet you can't." So he said, "Okay, playtime." So playtime. We all went on to the playground. He said, "Right, right. who wants to go?" So Ooh. Trevor said, "Yeah, me." So this boy, Dave, made Trevor lie down on the ground on his back, and he took this old dead hamster out of I'm his pocket. I'm just interested in the, the story stream, right now. Where and he are starts you going swinging the hamster to and fro in yeah. front of Trevor's eyes, and he mm -hmm. starts up talking in his spooky voice. Hypnotized, blood. Suddenly, you're the going me far, nauseous, far dude. away. Bell went boing, yeah. boing. At that, Trevor goes and stands up and bursted. So sad. Does he get paid for this? Go so far. I don't know what you just made me watch, but thank you for that. And if you want to see more reactions from me, The Real Spark, then just go check out my channel and don't forget to spark it up. Yeah. So I was walking across a bird's back rock and it was flying, flying, and it told me to get off its back. So I jumped off into a pool of macaroni and cheese and then I got, got a cup of soup pregnant. 